Hey guys, Dave Durani here with Power Monkey Fitness. Today we're going to be talking about working on handstand push-ups against the wall, but eventually working towards being able to do them freestanding away from the wall. Okay, so one of the tools that we use in the gymnastics world is using visual contact points. Being able to have a visual contact point makes sure that we keep position intact even as we start to fatigue. So one of the tools that we'll use as a visual contact point for handstand push-ups is creating a triangle on the ground. You can either do with tape marks or drawing it down on the ground with chalk, but what you're going to do is have your hands on the two bottom points and the objective being the top of your head reaching towards the top of that triangle to make sure you're creating that proper tripod. One of the keys to making a proper headstand work is finding the proper angle. And what that angle is doing, it's trying to make sure that you have equal weight distribution amongst all three points of your tripod, hand, hand, and head. Now what's really important about that tripod is making sure you have equal distance between your hands and your head so you can have equal weight distribution amongst all three points. A couple of other components that are important with the headstand in terms of position, one will be where your head touches the ground. We never want the forehead to be touching the ground because it puts your neck in a little bit of a dangerous position. So what we're always going to be looking for is the top or the crown of the head to be placed down on the ground. Along with that, we want to be thinking about keeping the elbows as close to the body so you're creating an efficient push position as opposed to having those chicken wings out to the side and pushing with those extremities away. Elbows in, top of the head touching the ground. Something that should seem obvious when doing handstands and headstand positions is do it on something soft when you're learning, especially the headstand. Top of your head being put down onto a hard surface, concrete or hard rubber flooring can sometimes be a little bit uncomfortable. So when you're learning this, put an ab mat down, do it on a soft surface. It'll help have everything not only positionally, but also in terms of comfort. So one of the pieces of this that gets glossed over the most, and it should be an obvious component to being able to do this regularly and with, with ease, is to have a solid freestanding handstand. Uh, people miss this component and they jump right from the wall and expect to be able to do it, but finding good balance and being able to understand the importance of shoulder um, stability as well as fingertip stability is a huge component in being able to eventually uh, transition into being able to do a strict freestanding version. Another strength aspect that we want to be working on is understanding how the shoulder plays a role in being able to support the bottom part of that handstand push-up. What we do is have uh, work being done on parallettes with an exercise called a shoulder stand, which is very similar to a headstand, but instead of your head touching the ground, it stays off of the ground, hands in contact on the parallettes, and your shoulders are doing the brunt of the work. If you're not quite there yet to be able to do the shoulder stand away from the wall from a balance perspective, you can do it in two ways. One way that we like to use is shorten that lever. So instead of your body being fully extended, you keep the knees into the chest, more into a tuck position, which is going to be a little bit easier to manage the position. Another way is using the wall as a spotter. So whenever our feet are up against the wall, it's basically stabilizing us so you don't have to worry about trying to stabilize on your own. I would recommend doing it stomach facing the wall, especially when you're first starting, which will help keep intact that angle that we keep talking about with our headstand and handstand push-up. Okay, so if you're used to doing handstand push-ups up against the wall, you're not really understanding the proper pattern that goes into doing a freestanding version. The angle that we talked about is very, very important, but what happens when you're doing a freestanding handstand push-up is that angle is your starting point, but what happens when you go from those three points back to two points is that there's a weight transfer that goes from your head back to your hands before you can push back up to handstand. So what we're going to be doing with this particular drill is understanding that sequence of events. Going from your three points in your tripod, pushing to a plank into two points, all right? So the whole idea here is to understand the angle as a starting point and then transferring your weight into a plank. So building the prerequisite strength to be able to do these uh, handstand push-ups strict uh, it takes a long time to build. So one of the things that we do in the gymnastics world to help understand not only maintaining position as you're building that strength is to shorten the distance a little bit. And you do that by cutting down the distance, adding a mat or an ab mat, something to make sure that you can maintain the tripod coming down in position without having to worry about going all the way down to the ground. Another drill, this one actually is using the wall but for a very specific purpose. One of the things that people miss out on when they're doing handstand push-ups up against the wall is making sure that they're incorporating a good tripod position. So what we're gonna do is move our hands a little bit away from the wall and find your optimal distance for your handstand push-up. Everyone's optimal distance will be slightly different according to your shoulder width. So what we're gonna do is get onto our knees and you're gonna place the back part of your head as close to the wall as possible without touching. Elbows moving away from the wall, hands moving away from the wall, trying to create again that equidistant triangle from head through to your hands. Another component to this, this particular drill is making sure that our heels are the only part of our body in contact with the wall the entire time. Once you have that tripod set in place, back of the head close to the wall, elbows back, hands close to the body, creating that good tripod, then you're going to be working on doing that strict freestanding handstand push-up all the way along the wall, making sure that position is intact. 
So we talk about in the gymnastics world a lot of negative work, a lot of tempo work, uh, doing a strict handstand, lowering into that good uh, angled position in the headstand is a great a way to be working on not only the strength but also the balance component of your headstand. So it will require a solid handstand, something that will be kind of a prerequisite for it. But as you lower down, the intention here is to make sure that you're creating that tripod as you're lowering into position. So remember, when you're doing these negatives, really the ideal uh, portion that you should be focusing on here is keeping, maintaining position and balance. So if you're lowering, you're noticing that your lower back is, is being lost and the position goes into an arch, it's going to force your body over the vertical position you're going to end up falling. So really, what you should be thinking about, no matter what, keep the body short of vertical. So as you're lowering down, body staying straight. If you do fall out of the handstand position or fall out of the headstand, it should be back to a plank as opposed to over the top. One of the most important pieces of this that gets uh, lost on people is where the elbows need to be placed to make sure that you're positioning yourself correctly into that tripod. You want the elbows to be tucked in by your sides almost as if the elbows are tracking along your lat. And one of the good indicators that you're doing this correctly is you're gonna have a heavy activation of the base of your tricep. If you're feeling it pre predominantly in the top of your shoulder and not so much in your tricep, positionally you're probably so you're doing something wrong. One of the main components of being able to do a proper handstand push-up is having the prerequisite strength. So we're going to do a couple of exercises here to make sure you guys understand the position and the strength that are necessary to be able to do it eventually away from the wall. So this one particular exercise, what we're going to be doing is actually doing a wall facing handstand. So instead of having our back to it, we're going to be turning around and having our hands a little bit away from the wall so we can create a bit of an angle. That angle is going to be critical once we move away from the wall so we can find equal weight distribution. This particular drill is going to be using the wall as a guide, kind of like a, a self uh, spotter, and you're going to be coming down through that angle using the wall as a spotter. With this particular exercise, what we're trying to do is maintain a hollow or straight body position throughout the entire exercise. If you notice that your lower back is uh, losing position and you're dropping those hips into an arch, you're not quite there yet from a strength or core perspective. All right, so doing your handstand push-up, what we're looking for here is maintaining body position. So your hinge point as you're coming down is going to be your shoulder. As you're coming down through to that headstand, your body is going to try to maintain a nice straight body position, finding that angle that we keep reiterating. You're coming down, trying to find a good tripod, equidistant triangle where your hands are as far apart from each other as your head is away from your hands, maintaining that angle. Once you hit the ground and have found support, find that balance point, then you can return back up to handstand, but first, that weight transfer needs to happen from three points back to two points before we can finish in our handstand.